as good as Mitchell Trubisky was, and as bad as Mike Glennon was, there's no change to the Bears' depth chart at quarterback. Yet, via Jeff Dickerson of ESPN.com, Bears coach John Fox said he wasnt flipping the number two overall pick than the free agent signing based on last night's results against the Broncos. Our depth chart is not going to change after one game, Fox said. That's a really good defense. Our first unit went against probably one of the top three defenses in the league. You have to look at a lot of different things. I can understand how you guys might think we could make a change, but we're not going to change a whole lot after one game. Of course, if anyone thought they might, it might have been because their WASNTU's like difference between the two. Trubisky came into the game just before half-time after veteran Mark Sanchez had his turn and was sharp, completing 18 of 25 passes for 166 yards, a touchdown and a quarterback rating of 103.1. Glennon, who signed a three-year, $45 million contract before the Bears traded up to take Trubisky, was 2 for 8 for 20 yards with an interception which was returned for a touchdown. His passer rating was a perfect 0.0. .0. This is actually the second time a Fox coached quarterback has achieved the perfect rating, after Randy Fasani posted a blue tasky against the Buccaneers and almost won. But when that happened, Fasani was a rookie and easier to bury on the depth chart, following the veteran coach long held bias against rookie quarterbacks. They spent a lot of money and pride on Glennon, so he'll get a longer robe. To his credit, the former Buccaneers backup is taking the long view. You kind of have to put it in perspective, Glennon said. Like I said, we're exactly one month out from the regular season opener against the Falcons. For me, it's just good to get back out playing. I got to get used to coming out as a starter and playing and being that guy. A couple more preseason games to tune this up and I'm confident well to that. If he doesn't, and Trubisky puts up more performances like the one he did against the Broncos reserves, Fox will probably have to make a decision he doesn't prefer.